the event is here. Tommy Welch been shown the target and he finds the target perfectly. One Walsh to another and that's a lovely cracking shot over the bar. Kerry win the All-Ireland. Sam Maguire goes back to Kerry. It's about playing 70 minutes and you're not to be fair to Kerry. They were true champions in the day. Killarney might be really looking forward to it. Huge crowd, great atmosphere as ever. Denny, we have been seeing as we've been talking to studio here over the last uh, night or two about the shocks in the championship, underdogs winning. The world. There's no underdogs, obviously, between Cork and Kerry, but how do you call this one? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's no one favour here at this stage. Um, I think that um, Kerry are, uh, probably need to win it more than Cork, and I'm not saying that just to play it down, but I think that Car uh, Kerry would actually absolutely dread going into the, the long route again as such, so I'd say that they're probably, like if you had to call it, they're probably up for it a bit more, but like time will tell whether they're up for it as, as, as well as I think they are, you know? I suppose also, Kevin, the thing about games like this between the two counties, apart from the sort of traditional rivalry that we all know so well, particularly last year if you look at it, uh, the defeat of Kerry by Cork was the beginning of their journey, tough as it was, through the championship. Yeah, I, I, I just don't see any team wanting to go that route again this year, Michael, and I'd have a slightly different uh, opinion on it to Dinny in that I think the loss of Paul Galvin, even though he's flying here in the round, in the warm-up behind us, um, I think his loss is almost incalculable, you know, for the, for the Kerry effort. And I give uh, Cork the touch, actually, to win this. I think, I think they just have the, the better form behind them. A lot of people, Dinny Allen, have been picking your own county, Cork, as potential All-Ireland champions this year. On the strength, I suppose, of their performances last year. Now, they came unstuck, obviously, in the All-Ireland final against Kerry. Have they moved on? Is this a better Cork team? Uh, well, time will tell whether they're a better team or not. I, I think they've got hungrier already. I mean, losing in All-Ireland and losing two certainly um, makes that a little bit more focused. So I think the hunger will be there. But whether the team is, is actually better, we'll see today. I, I'm just a bit worried. If I was a manager, I'd be worried about if Kerry can get enough ball into their full forward line. That, um, you know, like with the lads inside, a bit of inexperience. And Graham Canty, like, not playing enough matches. Like, I'd say, like, hopefully our half-back line can stop the ball going in because if it gets in there, you know, it will put a lot of pressure on us. What's your thoughts, uh, Dinny? There, we just saw as you were talking about Graham Canty, uh, he was uh, up on the picture there. What you thought about his placing on this Cork team at full back? Will he play there? Well, I'm su sorry, I'm, I'm surprised to be honest with you. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't think they were, he, they were going to play him. Mean, maybe I, he's an insp inspirational figure and that sort of thing. But he has very little done, and I thought that they might keep him on the bench and maybe you know bring him in centre back or, or even centre field at some stage. But like, I'm not down there watching him training every night, so like. We'll, I'll trust that the guys have a better knowledge than I have at this stage. <laughs> Kevin McStay, how do you call this one? Who's going to win it? I think Cork, Michael. I think Cork are, go are going to take it. Their league form has been impressive. They're building. I think uh, this is a, a year that they've, they've boxed off as an All-Ireland year and the Munster Championship to go with it would be just perfect for them. All right, gentlemen. Well, as we can see in our picture there, a fantastic crowd as usual for a game like this uh, down at Fitzgerald Stadium. Enjoy the game. Talk to you, Kevin, a little bit later on. Right, Pat Spillane. Wasn't it brilliant just there? Look, the, did, you, did you notice the cock warm-up? They were actually kicking the ball. Very few teams actually kick a ball. There was no tackle bag inside. There was no intricate little hand-passing movement. So anyway, that's sliding my Sliding on the ground? There was no sliding on the ground. Nothing at all. Just simple. That's what football is about, catching and kicking. This, this is going to be a tough game for both counties, you suspect, down there. It is. And, you know, I mean, Cork really recovered well after their all Ireland final defeat. You know, they came through the league, won the league championship. OK, admittedly, now looking at that performance against Mayo, we know now Mayo were even in meltdown at that stage. The one difficulty I can see with Cork is a bit like last, the year, previous year. The previous year, Kerry won the league and won the league without hitting top form. And the problem about winning the league without top... And they used over 30 players. Kerry used over 30 players winning the league two years ago. Cork used over 30 players winning the league this year. But I don't think... Last year, Kerry couldn't figure out which was their best 15. And it, was, it wasn't until the August Bank Holiday weekend when they played Dublin that they had settled on their best 15. Definitely today, Cork have no idea who their best 15 are. And like I said, they're taking a few chances. And certainly, Graham Canty is a big risk. He has played little or no football. The, the word in Cork, perhaps, is that they're going to move from on to Brian Sheehan, who wouldn't be renowned as a, 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 as a pacey player, and, and leave maybe young Jamie O'Sullivan. Jamie O'Sullivan had a great... Lash a league final, mm. but admittedly now it appears it was on an Aidan O'Shea who wasn't exactly training very hard and carry a few pounds weight. So look, I carry the Gallivan is a huge loss, yes, a massive, massive, massive loss. They've lost four or five star players from last year. And remember this time last year they had Donny to bring on, they had Brian Sheehan to bring on, they had Dunica Walsh to bring on. Now all those fellas are playing and they have a subs bench which is quite weak.
Yeah. Mm. By the way, just uh, before we go on, Colm, uh, just to mention the fact that another game in the Munster Football Championship, yeah, the the game, two, it the, should be in prospect. Yeah, and the two best teams in the country, Munster champions, All Ireland champions and league champions, so you have the whole lot here in the mix, and probably a good bit in front of everybody else. I think that Conor Coonhan maybe has been taking a more long-term view of this Cork team and deciding that he had to make changes, that the team that failed in Crow Park uh, uh, in, in different years just wasn't up to it and he had to introduce the likes of Aidan Walsh, Jamie O'Sullivan, Paddy Kassan, Kieran Sheehan to try uh, and improve the team because they weren't going to win it with the existing players. OK, let's uh, right now get the thoughts of both managers ahead of this Munster football semi-final. Conor Cunahan is the man charged with helping Cork uh, defend their provincial title. Jack O'Connor, the man looking to dethrone them. We'll be talking to them a little bit later on. First, let's get the thoughts of uh, Joe Brawley on this one. Well, I mean, you know, the neither team wants to sort of go on a caravan tour of Ireland, although I understand that can be <laughs> tremendous fun. And uh, I, I think, though, strangely enough, that it would probably work better for Cork if they were to lose today. The reason I say it is because, you know, they win today, then they're sitting on a pedestal, waiting until late September again for the inevitable challenge, you know. Whereas, and everybody's saying, oh, well, Cork will win the All-Ireland. I mean, everybody, I mean, yeah. anybody you ask says, Cork will win the All-Ireland, it's formality. If they win today, it'll only underscore that. I think it'd be much better for them to get out and about, get into the qualifiers. Conor Coonan will find his best team. It'll take the pressure off them, and they'll come back into <coughs> Croke Park as underdogs, which is always the best way to face the kingdom. Not a I'm, good way to face the kingdom as odd favourites. I'm not sure if Conor Coonahan would like to be in the qualifiers the way they're shaping up this particular year. We're talking about him and talking about uh, Jack O'Connor, the two managers. They've been uh, giving their thoughts to Joanne Cantwell. Well, Jack, we hear a lot of people say that the championship doesn't really start in August. Do you think we might learn otherwise today? Yeah, I think it'll start today for us in a big way because, um, you know, this is a huge game for us here in Killarney. I mean, Cork have, have been the kingpins and monster over the last couple of years and, and we certainly don't want them to win three in a row so it's a big game for us definitely. Yeah, you've obviously done well through the backdoor route but how important this year do you think it is to go the direct way? Well we've been trying to go the direct route every year uh, but you know Cork have got the better of us now over the last couple of years in Munster and uh, we're just hoping to address that situation today you now. Paul Galvin obviously not in the starting 15, is there a chance we will see him at some stage today? Well, it depends on the warm-up now. We'll just have a look at him in the warm-up and, and, and see how it goes. Uh, he's obviously a loss to us, but, you know, we have to drive on. That's outside our control. Uh, but, you know, hopefully he'll be able to play some part. Well, Connor, I presume it's been a real struggle to get the players motivated for this, has it? Uh, yeah, sure. Listen, coming to Killarney is great. You know, in our fields, you know, we're really looking forward to a great day, great crowd. And, you know, what more can you ask for this time of the year? It's obviously going to be high intensity as it always is. Is there the fear from your point of view that some of that tension might boil over? I know, look, I mean, you know, I don't think there's been too much of that in the past and, you know, we certainly won't be contributing to it. We'll get out and play the game and, you know, we're here to hopefully try and get a win out of it and that's what it's about. I would imagine the question on every Cork fan's lips is probably how are you planning to deal with Kieran Donaghy today? Sure, look, Kieran is a, an excellent footballer, but I think Kerry have 14 other players too. So, you know, we'll focus on our own game, getting our own game right, and hopefully that'll be enough. Connor, well, that's the first thing you have to do, isn't it? Getting close to throw in time in this Munster semi final. We'll be heading back to Killarney for news <coughs> on the teams and the first half of Cork versus.